two now. I have, a, I have a question. Was the press gay back then like they are now? <laughs> <laughs> to answer your question, no, they really weren't gay. Shane, I don't agree with using <laughs> gay that way. He's even making me sound gay because I'm so upset with him. <laughs> My God. So, <laughs> well, like Cronkite. Cronkite was a picture. It's funny to actually be gay when you're being gay. It's the best. Like to be mad about something. Get a I, coaster for that. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. Especially this angry gay. Stop it. That Shane. Is, what's more terrifying? No, that would be if you had two gay dads, there would have been one. <laughs> It was like, Shane, just don't make him mad. Shane, what the fuck are you saying to him? <laughs> Shane. It just reminds me, and I, this isn't presidential, but this is one of the funniest things that Nick DiPaolo ever said to me. I know I, I made fun of him in the last one, so I want to I want to praise him. He's I love the yeah. guy. It's like my brother. We used to live together. And I, I was telling him about this thing that I had heard about. The thing about Nick DiPaolo is that you say you tell him about something, and he finds the joke. So the thing I told him about was that there's somewhere in Asia, they they, they love monkey brains. And the best way to enjoy monkey brains is when they're still alive. So what there's these tables with little like skull shaped holes in them. Yeah. And they put the monkey up there and they cut the top of it and you just cut it open and you eat it with oh, a little God. stylish fork. And I said this to Nick and he pretended to be one of those guys. He's like, I'm sending mine back. It's retarded. <laughs> 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 like that would make it taste yeah. bad. This one's retarded. I want my money back. Here's Go a good decent. piece of trivia, and don't look it up. Nope. Okay. Here's a, a quiz question: Who is a, a, who is uh, Johnson? Lyndon Baines Johnson's vice president after Kennedy was shot when he who became the vice president. I, your mother's cunt. Oh man! It wasn't her. <laughs> it was. Not. It wasn't your mother. It was her cunt. Her cunt was a. Re- <laughs> Wait a second! This is a history podcast. Yeah. <laughs> You're telling me, Jones cunt. <laughs> yeah, because they only he only needed her for one year. And She's then when he so ran excited. for, She's then when he so ran, excited to watch. This. Then when he ran, he got somebody else. But he was like, he called out, Joan, I need your cunt to be my vice. He called her from Dallas. You know that famous picture of him on the plane? <laughs> that was he called her right before that. I need your vagina to be my president, my vice president. All right, so let's start from the top. Mom, I'm so sorry that he said that. I'm not. I never met your mom. <laughs> you very, held back. You held very back. Sweet. Very sweet. <laughs> so let's do this. Yeah. We're gonna read some ads. Okay. All right. And then we're going to switch over to the Patreon for the last part. So join the Patreon if you want. Why do you switch? Why are you making them go on Patreon? That way. That way, what? It's good. You make. Do you need the money? Yes. Really? The ads and the Patreon? You're going to make them listen to ads and then switch to Patreon? Hold on. This is look. This is like when I watch a fucking fight on DAZN, which I pay DAZN. for, and there's a fucking ad between the rounds. Hold on. Is it subscription or is it fucking Holy ad? Shit, there's three ads. Hold on. Re- you, yeah, but what? you don't have to put this on Patreon. We you do. don't have to. You don't need the it's money, not for me. Shane. Matt, Matt and Sean need it. I'll, how Matt's much, got a family. How much do you get for Patreon? How much really? You, I'll tell you. you tell me. How right much now? do you think you'll make on this on Patreon? If... If one thousand people join, yeah, the Patreon, that's it's five dollars a month. It's five thousand dollars a month, and then you Times think they 12. just stay there, and then yeah, they like it. But you think good. a thousand people will join your Patreon? Five thousand new people <laughs> because of this? Uh, I wish you would stop this, guys. <laughs> I will support pay the greatest him history podcast. Five thousand dollars a month, <laughs> guys, to keep this content. Free. This could be <laughs> no. America Mad- has no, Madison, never liked nerds. Madison gets two. Don't because. touch me. Don't touch me. Don't ever put your fucking hands on me. I can't touch me. your Don't ever shoes put out your of respect. Don't ever put fucking hands on me. I'm going to grip you up. God damn it. Hold on. So Jefferson, Jefferson was to shut the fuck up, guys. <laughs> shut up, guys. Sean, get out. Sean, don't look at me. Here's a great Kennedy story. So Peter Salinger, I think it was his name was, uh, Pierre Salinger. One of the, he was a great, he was a, uh, um, a journalist who hung out with Kennedy a lot. So they're in Kennedy's, um, in the Oval Office. And what Kennedy really liked bragging about was that he could get anybody on the phone ever. The White House operators could get any human being in the world. So he said to Pierre Salinger, 
um, I, give me a name. I can get him on the phone in 10 minutes. And he happened to know that Truman Capote was uh, writing a book in the woods. He was like in a cabin in the woods, cut off, no phone on sabbatical. And so he says, Truman Capote. And so Kennedy get, picks up the phone on the coffee table and says, hey, get me a Truman Capote, please. And just hangs up and then they keep talking. And in 10 minutes, he hears like a heli, like they fucking got a helicopter <laughs> and they lowered it. And yes, Mr. President. <laughs> The Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts is like the most liberal document in the world because Adams was like, he's like, I'm going to get it right. Everything that I couldn't get done in the American Constitution, I'm doing in this. And there's stuff in there about Jews having rights. There's even something about gay people in there. Like he was Whoa, into like wow. gay rights, Jews. It's pretty then. gay back then. It's pretty gay. Pretty Jewish. It's gay to be a gay Jew. It's gay to be into Jews. <laughs> yeah. Dude, to those, be into Jewish rights in the 1700s was gay. Those parliaments but undeniably must have been gay. Undeniably crazy gay. Back then, like, I don't know what about Jews. People are like get the fuck yeah. out of here. Yeah, like, what are you talking on, about Jews? Back Stop. then, have a room full of dude in powder wigs being like boo. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. like, and the Jews looked things. exactly that they look the same as they do now. Yeah. <laughs> the big black coats, exact same outfits, <laughs> same outfits, same. Way. When I was a kid, I lived in Mexico. And uh, from when I was, I know, I know, I know, like I'm aware that's like not Pennsylvania cool. crushes Mexico. Yes. You guys are dying to get to PA, dude. Yes. And I got obsessed with the idea of the president of the United States. It's where it became a thing to me. And the president at the time was Nixon. I cut a picture out of him, uh, of him out of the paper. And I put it, taped it up next to Nixon? my bed. Yes, I loved Richard Damn, Nixon. You when loved I was a Nixon. little kid, I was so about Richard Nixon. And I wrote a letter to my abuelita, my grandmother. Yeah. And I sent her a picture of Nixon and said, this is the president of the United States. He's the greatest He's the man. Fucking greatest man. man in the country. He's so cool. He's the best man. I didn't know a single thing about <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah. And he had this serious face. And I had a dream. It's the first dream I remember. I the My bedroom was in the front of our house. So you looked out at the front of our house. And it, I was uh, asleep. And it was m like a Sunday morning. And I heard a band, like a marching band. And I looked outside. And it was Nixon. <laughs> Like walking up my street, just no, no spectators. Yeah, just him walking up my, with followed by a marching man. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom, and I came out on the front yard. I we had this walkway, and he got down on one knee and he said, "Louis," <laughs> <laughs> and I ran into his arms. <laughs> what he the fuck? <laughs> Damn, you love Nick. <laughs> I loved him so much. <laughs> Damn, Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I've never told anybody that. You know that? I've you? never told anybody that in my life. And so, <laughs> Louis, <laughs> Louis, <laughs> oh, like, senor. <laughs> oh, and it's funny. There's the only day, <laughs> the idea of his joy because Nixon was such a miserable man <laughs> that his joyful side was very rare. There's only one time I've ever seen it on film. And it's when he's playing piano, he's in a tuxedo, and I think he's at his daughter's wedding. And he was a concert pianist, he was very good. And he's playing piano and he plays some big crescendo, and he's got this big dumb <laughs> grin on his face. And I think maybe I had seen that, because that's the only, that grin, every time I see it, I'm in that dream. So, but my parents saw that I had these pictures of him next to my bed, and they were like, he's not, a good he's not that great. <laughs> he's not because Watergate was happening. Yeah. And every night my parents were sitting in front of the TV, this little fucking color TV, watching Watergate, watching the hearings. And it was like shh. And, and you're like, how's it going? Yeah, I'm like, how's, how's my, my, how's my how's, boy going? How's he doing? Yeah. <laughs> and Nixon's resignation was just like a depressing, uh, destroying, sad fucked up thing it was just like what now over it because when we lost the civil war when the, when we lost the civil war oh, maybe, no. I don't know what made me say that no when the when the, when the south lost the civil war you got to cut that part where i say we lost <laughs> no that's good cut that i don't that's know what you corrected it that. immediately <laughs> this is pretty sick 1893 cleveland gets reelected. yeah people liked his hot daughter and now their new daughter or his hot bride. wife yeah and now their new daughter, Baby Ruth. Okay. <laughs> you know the candy bar? 
Yeah, but isn't that Babe named? Ruth? Uh, no, That's I think it's Babe named Ruth? after their daughter. You don't think it's named after Babe Ruth? You gotta look that up, dude. Come on. Feels closer to true than. Did they even have candy bars back then? Look, man. You know who <laughs> don't Mounds, holes in You know who this. Mounds was named after? <laughs> Ew. Your mother's cunt. I had a feeling. <laughs> I had a strong feeling. Yeah. What? This is uh, the candy bar was named after Ruth Cleveland. Uh, I like that. It took place in 1921. Okay. So check Mounds. <clears throat> okay. Check Mounds. There. See if Mounds was named after my mother's cunt. Okay. Well, I mean, it's just sad, Shane. What if it says Mrs. <laughs> Shane? What if it says Mrs. CK? <laughs> what if there's a twist? Maybe I'm projecting. <laughs> a great Just story about Teddy. Shit. The way where teddy bears come from. Okay. Teddy Roosevelt was on in Pennsylvania. Again, your fucking state. Might have been incredible Virginia. state. Not much difference. So um Teddy was there and uh on tour as president. And there were some people, you know, every time the president comes to a town, they always like they get so excited and they plan stuff. So they knew he loves hunting bear. Yeah. So when when Teddy hunts bear, he's way up in a mountain alone with a gun and it's him and the bear and he might die. Yeah. But these people think he's like a gentleman hunter. So they take him. We're going to take you to hunt some bear and they give him a gun. They take him into the woods and there's a bear chained to a tree, a little bear who's kind of emaciated and it was chained to a tree and they go shoot him. (laughs) (laughs) And Teddy breaks down into tears yeah and he says for the love of god let that poor animal go and there was some journalist there who drew a picture that was like a little sketch that was in the paper of teddy with this and this little bear and it was they put the people put that together teddy and bear uh and started making these stuffed bears that looked like teddy because of this jesus christ another great story about him that i heard was that uh he would fight whoever was the heavyweight champ. Oh, yeah. yeah. He would <laughs> bare knuckle. Yeah. So like Jack Johnson, I think, had just won the championship. So he was invited. He doesn't know this was going to happen. He's invited to the White House. So he, I don't know if they had an Oval Office yet. Yeah. Comes into the Oval Office. I believe Ted, they did. And Teddy was like, oh, terrific. And he fucking starts. <laughs> and Jack Johnson's like, what are you doing? He's don't like, come on this. now. Because to him, it was like it made sense yeah. that the president should fight with the heavyweight champion (laughs) and he fought him and johnson uh blinded him in one eye (laughs) and teddy begged him please don't tell anybody because i'll get it because teddy he's not supposed to do this so he used to get people to leave the room and then he fought him and he blinded he was always blinding that eye which he was always in denial about because he was sort of ashamed that he did this thing yeah this guy's insane I, I stopped. A guy I with you. a G. Gro- it's either Grover, Cleveland, or Garfield. One of those two was yeah, shot can, and killed. Yeah. Uh, McKinley shot and killed. JFK and Lincoln. Nice. Four shot and killed. Reagan fucking close. Badly shot. Yeah. Uh, 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 Roosevelt, Teddy, shot in the chest. Bull. Uh, but had a, 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 spe- a thick piece of paper with his speech Fuck, and a glasses so cool, case. Man. Finish the speech, dude. Yep, finish the speech. Got shot and was like... Uh, <clears throat> and somebody <laughs> shot at at, at um, uh, Jack, Andrew Jackson. Yeah. He got and, and he uh, had a cane and he beat the guy, <laughs> beat the shit out of the guy. I almost beat him to death. <laughs> the guy shot shot him and he just, get the fuck! It was right outside the, the Capitol. <laughs> what? Like by the big... Uh, Pillars or whatever. Yeah. And he just beat the fucking <laughs> shit out of him. Dude who shot him. He was in- insane. But yeah, like <laughs> over 10 per- like 12% of them had been shot, have been shot. Yeah. That's so crazy. it's an intense job. <laughs> it's it's There's a good chance. It is like a higher rate than actual soldiers in war. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. It's probably, I guess so. I bet yeah. it is. 
That's might be. fucked up. Yeah, because in like regular, like revolution shit, it's like 70,000 soldiers, 2,000 dead. What's crazy shit is like that, that. But before it used to be like when, you know, you like, uh, uh, what's his name? Alexander the Great and whoever. Some kings used to lead, heads of state yeah. used to lead charges. <laughs> they yeah. used to be the front horse, <laughs> yeah. like going right headlong into an army. That would be nice to be a yeah, guy. A lot of Roman, a spear, uh, like, Roman guys did that. And, jackpot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I fucking got it. Holy shit. He's coming king. right at me. He's coming right oh, at me. Oh, just fuck, some, I blew I'm it. Just some guy, yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> then the other great thing was at Yalta, the conference at Yalta, where yeah, this is good. FDR and Stalin. Churchill are trying to get Stalin to come into the war on the Allied. He could have come in at either side; it was a yeah. toss-up, or he could have stayed out. But a Russian front to the war was everything. It turned out to be everything. Yeah, the same thing that happened. To it's what stopped. Uh, uh, it's what killed uh, Napoleon because Russia is just this deep forest, and anybody who invades Russia just gets absorbed and then stuck for the winter. Yeah. It killed Napoleon, and it killed. Eventually, took Hitler. It's not where they lose, but it's where they get. They drains. Okay. Yeah. So Churchill is like the European statesman. He's the one who's been fighting the war longer, and he's like he's been mechanizing. How am I going to do this? And so when they get to Yalta, he goes to to Roosevelt and says, "Let's talk. Let's plan how we're going to get uh, Joseph." And um, FDR goes, "Oh, just let's, let's have lunch. We'll do it after lunch. After lunch." And he's like, "Okay, when are we gonna? We got a confab. You and me, we're gonna yeah. triangulate. We're gonna. You come from that. So good cop, bad cop. Like, which one do you want to do?" And FDR is like, "It's all right, Winston. It's all right. It's all right. I got that. We'll we'll talk about it. We'll definitely talk about it." And then they're at lunch with Stalin, and. Uh, and Roosevelt looks at Churchill and he says to Stalin, Joseph, look at, look at Churchill. Look at what a fat, <laughs> weird little man he is. What a, look at him with his cigar. Look how ridiculous he is. And Stalin is like shocked. And he looks at Churchill and he goes, bah! and he just laughs and he fucking drinks vodka yeah. with FDR and they fucking sing in songs yeah. and FDR and Joseph are like best friends. <laughs> Churchill is a fucking loser. Yeah. And then, and then, you know, and FDR is like, so you come in our side and Joseph's like, yes, yes, yeah, I come in your of side. Course. Whoever. <laughs> yeah, of course I come in your side. That's he just read, he read the room and he knew what had to be done. And it was throwing fucking Winston Churchill under the bus yeah. and making him feel like a fat little fucking. And he was mad about it. He was what? mad. Churchill was mad. Uh, yeah. He like left there. <laughs> yeah. No, but he yeah. got the, I mean, he won World War II at yes, that. Yes, he did. But that, he had to be humiliated. Yeah. We, we can go as long as long we, we want. Been talking for An hour. Me. Okay. Well, You're Lincoln, not enjoying this? You're not having the time of your life? I'm having a great time. <laughs> I knew you would. This is I'm not, nice, I'm right? I'm having a great time. You're not having a great time. No, I'm not. I hate this. Decent time? Really? No, I'm having a good time. <laughs> How much fun? You decide which one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the Japanese were never going to surrender. Yeah. And the amount of people that would have died, this is what it's like when you get deep into a war. How many people have died so far? How many more will die if we do it this way? Yeah. How many will die if we do it this way? Uh, so that's what happened. I don't have an opinion about it. I don't. I do. But that's fine. But here's I don't. the thing. Here's the thing. Nobody cares about Dresden. Nobody cares about no Dresden. Way more people die. Yeah, and it's also and first off, kind of well, not more horrifically. Both had like fire tornadoes. Yeah, that just wiped they, out. Well, they I set mean, the terrifying. atmosphere on fire. Yeah, it's the scariest thing in the world. It's awful. It sucked the oxygen out of a city, and there were fire tornadoes. Yes. People were melting in the streets. Yes. Into the street. The, like the going pavement, down the drains. The pavement melted. So they'd run out of their houses and their feet would get stuck. And then they'd reach down and then just be stuck in the fucking. I mean, it's the worst thing in the world. But, but you know, <laughs> they might have had it coming. But <laughs> of, course, like these are, a, of course, these are civilians. Of there's course. a joke about uh, two agents running to each other on the street in Hollywood. And one of them was like, uh, hey, what have you been up to? And he goes, oh, I produced a special for, you know, whatever. Just pick a, you know, Celine Dion or whatever. You yeah. Know. He goes, how would you like working with her? And she's like, fucking cunt, fucking worthless, <laughs> fucking spoiled brat, fucking drunk, fucking drug-addled cunt. I hope she fucking dies. And the other guy goes, you know, she's my niece. And the guy goes, let me finish. <laughs> what um, we? we left off at LBJ. This so the- LBJ. So... LBJ, um, first of all, there's an interesting 
tie in a person that ties together JFK, LBJ, and Nixon. Is it my mother's cut? It's your mother's cut. <laughs> is it really? No, it really wasn't. Oh, God damn it. No, there are some parts of history your mother's cunt did not figure into. There's only a few. <laughs> if you ever go to 30, so 30 Rock, where the, I was almost there, yeah. You were almost there, <laughs> but then you said something terrible. <laughs> just terrible. <laughs> Shane, how dare you? I just remembered. Get out of my house. <laughs> oh, shame on you, Shane Gillis. I like my SNL cast. Shame on too. you. I didn't get cut. <laughs> <laughs>